Yo, slick with the kicks, slick with the kicks, slick with the kicks, I'm slick with it. Yes, I'm so, so slick with it. Yes, I'm so, so slick with them kicks. Hey, 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 you know it, man. All right, all right, all right. So we got a new one, and let's see the intro for this one. Let's see how we're going to start this one. Um, There you go. A lot of sneakerheads be talking a lot of smack, but I don't listen to none of them while I'm wearing my crime Londons. Hey, 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 you know it, man. Hey, yo, slick with the kicks, back at it. Hey, yo, happy new year to everybody, you know, just vlogging over here. Uh, I know that I've been out of time and everything, you know, so I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm on my little day off and everything, so I'm just trying to make as much time to get uh, the vids out. Still getting, still got time to get uh, pretty cool sneaks and everything, you know, so that I can show y'all, so, you know, and vlog them out for y'all and, and, and uh, for you just to get to know uh, everything that's going out on out there. You know, there's a lot going on on the sneaker world, I'm just bringing in a little bit of my piece, you know, and, and everything. So yeah, happy new years, and we're gonna keep rolling, and uh, much appreciation to everybody that's been writing back on the past videos that I've done, uh, for any other video that's coming out, like this one, and all the other ones from past, present, futures. Any questions you have, uh, you know, definitely just uh, just ask, and I'll be right there, just, you know, just typing out, and uh, chatting with you guys, and just giving you my, uh, my best, you know, so, uh, over here, uh, uh, you know, I end up in the new year. Gonna, I'm gonna do it, do it fresh. You know, I'm gonna keep going back to the sames and all that. But it's always good to do uh, to, to to start a fresh new. You know, so uh, yeah, man. So um, not working at the store that I was uh, uh, back then, back at the running store and everything. And uh, you know, they gave me knowledge and all uh, different st uh, sort of stuff and everything on, on running shoes and just shoes in itself, uh, midsoles and outsoles and everything, comfortness and all that. But uh, uh, so I'm in a new store now and it's a little bit more of a, of a, it's not upscale, but it's a, you know, I leveled up a little bit. There's a, there's good, um, uh, uh, uh brands right there, you know, uh, that they're, they're doing it, killing it. It's not a running store, but it does have the running shoes and all that. There's a variation of everything, but a lot of international stuff, European stuff as well. So what I'm going to show y'all, I'm at the new store Favoritas, which is the same, uh, group of stores as Novus where I was going at and getting my MBs, the 550s, you know, while while they were on a hype mode that they were kind of hard to find. They were the ones that had them back. And now I'm talking about a year ago, year and a half, year and a half ago was something like that. It's, it's, it's been there for probably even two, uh, yeah, a year and a year and a half. Uh, when the hype was there, they had, they had the hype when it was nowhere to be found. Now you can find them uh, rel relatively uh, kind of uh, a bunch of other stores, you know, like Champs and all that stuff. But we're going to go with a new brand uh, right here since I did the uh, the level up mode. Let me see uh, how long. Okay, three minutes. Cool. Um, since I did the level up, I decided to level up on my sneaker game. And uh, I'm going to show you all pretty much what I got. And uh, it's something, you know, it's no crazy stuff. Uh, it's a very minimalist look. A minimalist uh, sort of take that this brand has on sneakers and when they do them I'm just gonna show y'all and boom this is what we're gonna do size 42 that's a size 9 I'm usually nine and a half ten uh, but uh, these European uh, and Italian uh, uh, designs and all that they run, do run a little bit a little bit uh, uh, big uh, um, uh, when you put them on depending on, on the shoe model this one right here since it's kind of like a uh, you'll see so definitely 42 that's a size 9 and let's read them out uh, it's a uh, low top distress white leather distress white leather and the brand is crime London yo crime London it's starting to get a little bit of a hype at least over here in the island you know just like a bunch of other ones uh, uh, there's a bunch of other sneaker brands new sneaker brands have been popping out and just ha having their, their, their nice hype on clouds and all that stuff this one over here it's creating a buzz believe me and it's coming uh, out from a um, it's it's um, the story goes that um, uh, I think it's the Kisterman sisters. Uh, they went uh, to study at London. They were studying at London. Um, they were taking on ideas from the nightlife and uh, and the music scene and everything. I'll just show you. So show you right there the white leathers. Distress. Distress is a new thing in sneakers right now. The distress look. 
I've been looking in a little bit too a little bit into that, so let's go on get on with it. Crime London. Let's check out the paper right here, the wax paper. They all come like this with the Crime London tag on it. I'm gonna show you all right here. Listen, it's nothing crazy, it's very minimalistic with a luxury take on it, casual. And here it is. That's it. <laughs> it's the distressed look. It's a brand new, but as you can see, let me see if the, always got problems with the lighting, right? You see how it's all scuffed up. It's all pretty much the suede is dirtied up. Not crazy designs. Crime tag on the back. Everything is leather. There's no, listen, they have different styles with suede and everything. This one has a little bit of suede. There's a bunch of other different uh, models that they have. Crime, 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 crime on the tongue. Let me see if it says something else. No, it's just crime, crime, crime on the tongue, right? <laughs> and it's got a little bit of a, it's, it's a crazy design. Um, you can say kind of like a license plate on the back, boom, bolted up, stitched up. Nice design, it's just ideas running in here. Okay, so background into the, uh, into the shoe, um, Kiss Men Sisters. There were uh, studying college over, uh, I mean, at least for the research that I did back in London, and they were checking out the the, the nightlife, the scene, and how everything was, the vintage looking, a uh, little bit of hip hop ish, and everything, uh, rock and roll is just a lot going on into the thinking of these uh, uh, of this brand right here. So it's a uh, Italian design. It's an Italian design. That, that was thought of in uh, uh, in London, England, but I think uh, um, what was I think their headquarters or I think their main store is in Ibiza, Ibiza, Spain. I want to say that's kind of like the research that I did. I kind of saw it on their IG page. Let's show you all right here. Distress with no stress. You see, it's a uh, it's got a little bit of text and uh, it's it's it, there's a lot going on, a lot of thought of but it's it's uh it's in a minimalistic kind of look and way and feel to it you see that it's all dirtied up it listen this is dead stock i have not worn this at all but the distress look is something that i've been looking into i've been looking at brands that uh do this even brands, right? It, it, all your regular brands are doing it. Not the vintage look, but the distress. Uh, um, I think I've seen uh, uh, the Golden Gooses, they do that. Um, I think Reebok and all that, they've been doing a little bit of uh, distressing as well, vintaging and all that, but it's not vintage, this is just distressing. You see, it's like brand new, Crime London on the bottom, nice gum on the bottom. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a kind of like an up and coming brand. Definitely, everybody should look into it. It's just leather, straight leather, all everywheres. Man, but <clears throat> with the Italian uh, uh, materials, leather and everything, it's so it's straight, but it's clean. You see that it's like no crease or nothing, but it's got the distressed look. It's got the scuffing, but this is what I want to show y'all in the, okay, let's check out Insole, Crime London. It's a good little story. It's a good little brand. I think they do uh, um, uh, wardrobing as well. You know, I think they have some, some threads, some clothes. I, you know, and this is what I want to get to. A lot of people might say that this style right here is uncomfortable to walk on and you know, it is on most of these styles of regular shoes, kind of like a uh, Converse blazer look or something like that. But what's good about this one is that the insole, take it out and it's thick. Oof. First time taking out this sole too. And it's thick, man. I mean, when, when it's bouncy, spongy, really not bad at all. So when you walk in this shoe... You see, it's kind of like double layered up over here, like on the front. It's got a pattern right there, kind of like a circulation flowing or something. Listen, they look out for you, okay? <laughs> hey, yo, this is one of the new brands that are coming out. 
uh, Europe, of, of course, and right at the things that I'm just getting in with new brands. I want to do something different, something fresh. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, you know, all your regular uh, uh, brands from everyday brands, you know, which ones I'm talking about. They're always going to do their thing and they're always going to have their style. But, you know, and I mean myself, listen, they have a bunch of other styles. They have uh, this one's called the Distressed. They have a, a one called Timeless. That one's pretty good. I was going to get that one, but uh, I wanted to get with something that match matches more of what I do, what I like, which is the all white with a little bit of grayish, kind of like a stealth kind of look to the shoe. Let's read the tag, okay? This is... Okay, wait, I can't... <laughs> this is a handmade product. Stains, shades, or any difference are not defects, but an added value of craftsmanship. You know, it lets you know. It lets you know what they do. What's it all about? Listen. Nothing crazy, you know. I'm just I'm just getting in with the new, you know. So this was for being a distressed look. This was kind of affordable, you know. And since I bought it at the store that I'm working at now, I think retail is like two twenty five over here in PR. Uh, uh, but I got it like on a discount. I think it was twenty five percent discount. I think I got it like from it went from two twenty five to one eighty something, one eighty, one ninety something like that. So. Uh, yeah, pretty good right here. All in tax. Yeah, 188, 190. All with tax. So, yeah, this is kind of like one of the new things that's coming in for styles and everything out of Europe. Italian design. I think Italians were the ones that did the whole distress kind of movement. They started it and a lot of other brands, they kind of took on it. So, uh, yeah, most definitely Italian design. It was thought of. London, England, out in the streets and taking all the uh, grasping in from the nightlife and social life uh, up, in, uh, 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 the, up in London, different style. I think it was East London, over in East London. That's where all the, uh, uh, the aspirations and everything that they took in, uh, motivation, all that, just to create this shoe. And uh, I think it's manufactured uh, uh, over in Spain or, or their main headquarters in Spain, something like that, which my store favoritas, man, they, uh, they do have that Spain connection. A lot of their brands uh, come in from Spain, uh, Italy, uh, and a lot of Brazil as well. So yeah, there you go. Just wanted to show y'all and uh, kind of put in a new kind of fresh kind of look and taste into sneakers, a new brand crime london you do have to check out this is luxury uh casual um uh with a little bit of or a lot of a lot of minimalist <laughs> a lot of minimalistic kind of features in this all right so i'm going into a little bit of a longish uh review right here but yeah definitely check it out this is a brand to look for Coming into this new year, this is their 22 uh, kind of styles, which me preferably, I kind of like a little bit more. The new ones coming in for 2023, uh, it, it's different styles. They have a distress skate, I think it is, and uh, uh, a lot of other ones. But I'm liking this the the, the 2022 uh, uh, models uh, in line. Uh, for uh, for the style of all the shoes. There's the, the Spring Runner, the Timeless, this one, the Distressed, um, which is the other one? Um, oh man, uh, Essential. I think the Essential is the other one that's pretty cool looking too. That one's got a very nice style. Good, good, good for dads. Good for the dads right there. But this one right here, bringing in the casual, minimalistic, distressed look crime london that's the one to look for out in 2023 let's bring it in hey yo we did it again slick with the kicks let's go we did it crime london check it out check out all the other vids that i'm gonna keep dropping listen to a lot of other shoes uh very good and very well uh health and everything in the new year 2023 we're gonna go get them you know we still got a lot more sneakers to pop off Slick with the kicks, let's go. Yo, we did it. One more time. Killing with the rhyme. Hey, yo. Checking out the crime. Yo, that one popped out right there, natural. Thanks, everybody. Stay tuned for more.